Okay, so uh, let's now discuss lesson 3 of our chapter 1, which is Science Education in the Philippines. So we're going to discuss the concepts of science education. So let's start. Science education in the Philippines focuses on teaching, learning, and understanding science. So this means exploring pedagogical theories or anong gagamitin natin, paano natin tuturo yung lesson or yung topic. And of course, using models in helping teachers teach scientific concepts and the process effectively. Okay, anong mga gagamitin natin in teaching the subject? Um, anong mga gagamitin natin para mas maintindihan ng mga estudyante natin? Okay, just like, for example lang yung uh, paggamit ng models, images, um, the actual mismo na object. Okay, so those are just few. Okay. Understanding science implies developing and applying science process skills. Okay, so not just um, listening but also by doing it. Okay, doing science, learning by doing. That's why we have experiments, demonstration, okay, and using science literacy in understanding the natural world and activities in everyday life, okay. So, um, in teaching science, it's better for us to, um, you know, implement practical activities. Okay, doing uh, or using the nature. Okay, so John Dewey said that or stressed that the importance of utilizing the natural environment is very important to teach students. Okay, for example, kung tuturuan mo sila ng parts of the plant, mas maganda yung nakikita, meron kang, meron kang actual na plant sa harap. Okay, if you are going to teach um, photosynthesis, pwede mo silang pagtaan ng uh, plant na yung malit lang, yung kakasya sa sa test tube, at lalagay mo ng tubig and then it will eventually produce bubbles just to show them that photosynthesis really happens in plant. Okay? Kasi yung lumalabas na bubbles may laman na oxygen which is uh, yung nire-release ni plant during photosynthesis. Okay? Or how to plant trees. So, might as well uh, let them plant one. Diba? So, dun mas ma-appreciate, mas maintindihan, mas magsisink in, mas ma-retain sa kanila yung subject or yung lesson or yung topic. Mas maintindihan nila. Okay? Marx opines that science is going to be one of the most important school subjects in the future, which is already happening now. Okay? Diba? Uh, sa grade school pa lang, meron ng science. Diba? Even in tertiary, in college, look at you now, you're engineering, pero meron kayong subjects in science, such as chemistry, ito, sa STS, diba? Knight says that science education provides skills and knowledge that are necessary for a person to live in, of course. Okay? Just by knowing basic science or basic knowledge in science also helps you to live um, your life easier. Okay? Just by knowing how to do hot compress, diba? For um, First aid, maram kang example. Okay? Paano mo... Basta, maram kang example. Okay? And also... Developing a science culture is an immense responsibility for schools. Okay? Of course, because schools... Uh, you know, produces responsible citizens and future professionals. Okay? So, kailangan 
makapubis din tayo ng mga um, professionals in the field of science because it is our future. Okay. Katulad na ngayon, pandemic, mas kailangan natin ng maraming medical professionals or scientists, di ba? To create the vaccine, engineers, Now, here are the um, focuses of science education in the, the basic and tertiary education. So, in basic education, this focuses on um, introducing the subject to the students, okay? Making them fall in love, supposedly making them fall in love with the subject. So, that's why ma- dapat talaga yung subject in basic education or science subjects in basic education, especially in the elementary, hindi yung pang-college na agad. Okay? Meron ako nakita ang post sa Facebook na yung textbook nila for a grade schooler is meron na agad uh, graphs about sa ano, uh, parang sa heart, yun. So, hindi pa sila bagay dun. Okay? Parang ma ma mabibigla sila. Okay? Baka hindi nila ma-appreciate yung science. Dapat yung ma-appreciate muna nila. Okay? For them to develop um, love for science. Interest in science. Hindi yung mas-stress sila agad na, ah, ayaw ko lang gawin yung science kasi ma- uh, mahirap. Okay? And while well, in tertiary education, science education deals with the developing with de- developing students understanding and appreciation of um, so I think this is a typographical error this should be in basic education okay basic education science education deals with developing students understanding and appreciation of science ideas and scientific works well in tertiary level it focuses on the preparation of science teachers, scientists, engineers, and other professionals in various science-related fields such as engineering, agriculture, medicine, and health sciences. Okay, di ba? Sa college, sa tertiary level, dito na yung um, you, are already, you are already introduced in deeper topics in science. Di ba? May mga major subjects na kayo. Okay? Kasi, you're already being prepared um, for your future profession. For example, sa science teachers, of course, yung mga, yung mga subjects nila, majors nila are science subjects. At may practice teaching pa sila. Scientists, of course, more laboratories, researchers, so, um, and so as engineers, diba? So, as agriculture, and dun mismo sila sa field, pag yun yung major nila, medicine, diba? And so on, and so forth. Now, here are some of the science schools in the Philippines. Um, one of the outstanding program for science education supported by the government is the establishment of science schools in various parts of the country. Okay? Of course, this is vital. Okay? If we are go, if we are, if we want um, professionals in the field of science, of course, we need to um, give emphasis to the schools or having science schools here in our country. There are also several government pro- programs implemented by the Department of Education and few private schools for science education. So, one of which we have here, the Philippine Science High School System, okay? So, Philippine Science High School System, this is a government program for gifted students in the Philippines. It is a service institute of Department of Science and Technology, or the DOST, whose mandate is to offer free scholarship basis for secondary source or course with special emphasis on subjects pertaining to the sciences with the end view of preparing its students for a science career. Okay? So, ito yung 
field side na school. The Philippine Science High School system continues to pursue its vision to develop Filipino science scholars with scientific minds and passion for excellence. They have, bo- they have brought honor to the Philippines through their exemplary achievements in various international competitions and research circles. Okay, so ito yung tinitake nyo na exams in ele- elementary para matanggap sa FILSAI. Okay. And we also have here Special Science Elementary Schools or SSES project. So the Special Science Elementary Schools is a project in pursuance to Deped Order Number no. 73 Series 2008 and Deped Order Number no. 51 Series of 2010. This project started in June. 2007 with 57 identified elementary schools that participated or were identified as science elementary schools in the country. So even in elementary, meron na tayong sci- uh, science school. The number have grown to more than 60 schools nationwide and this is now its sixth year of implementation. Provided a learning environment to science-inclined children through a special curriculum that recognizes the multiple intelligences of the learners. Promote the development of lifelong, lifelong learning skills. Foster the holistic development of the learners. The curriculum also utilizes different instructional approaches that addresses the learning styles and needs of the learners like use of investigatory projects. And we also have here Quezon City Regional Science High School, which origi- originally named um, Quezon City Science High School. Pero ngayon, it's already called Quezon City Regional Science High School. The school still teaches the basic education courses prescribed by the Department of Education for Secondary Education and the school is well supported by the local government unit and by the Parents and Teachers Association. And we also have here the Manila Science High School. The school was established on October 1, 1963 and it is the first science high school in the Philippines. The Manila High School or the Manila Science High School aims to produce scientists with souls. In order to do this, humanities courses and other elective are included in their curriculum. Although they are a science school, they also offer courses in humanities and other subjects related. Because yun nga yung um, parang goal nila not just to produce scientists but scientists with souls the school administers an entrance exam the Manila Science High School admission test or MSAT for students who wish to enroll so not just anyone can enter the school so here are um, parts of the Manila Science High School admission test or the MSAT it has aptitude test in science aptitude test in mathematics problem solving test in science problem solving test in mathematics and proficiency proficiency in English or English proficiency test so the school prides itself from producing outstanding alumni and for winning various national competitions just like um, Philippine Science High School And we also have here the Central Design Institute Foundation. It is the home of pioneer and pioneer of prominent school-based innovation known as the Dynamic Learning Program. The DLP is a uh, synthesis of classical and modern pedagogical theories adapted to foster uh, the highest level of learning, creativity, and Productivity. The school takes pride in its research center for theoretical physics, 
established in 1982, which organizes small international workshops to foster and informal, for inf uh, to foster the informal but intense exchange of ideas and perspective on outstanding problems in physics and mathematics. So we'll just um, go through with this. This is just a summary. Okay, so that's all for lesson three.